Good morning and welcome to Sunday Snacks with Ellie and Sam. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about the satisfaction of prepping and why it's important to prep and why it will leave you with a sense of satisfaction. So Ellie, you picked the word satisfaction. Why? I think I think it's sort of like, you know, looking at a at a pantry that's full, mm -hmm. knowing that, you know, just like gas going up and down, knowing that food prices right now are wild and crazy. Oh. And I don't have to rush out to buy food today. I have things here mm -hmm. that I can eat and be prepared and not be dependent upon the up and down of um, the prices today. Yeah. And trying to just stay in touch with what's changing so that I know I have what I need. Um, you know, if if the supply isn't available next month or something like that. Um, so it's a it's a, a, a kind of a also a secure feeling, mm -hmm. you know, that you're not dependent on the craziness of the supply chain or whatever. The market fluctuation yeah. doesn't impact you in an overall sense. Right. Right. So for me, satisfaction is a great word, but it creates a sense of inner calm. Yep. Because I look at it and I'm like, oh crap do i have enough to deal for my family yeah. and then oh whew, i'm prepared yeah. i got this it's good you know yeah. i recently went to lancaster and i bought enough bread flour and regular flour to get me through till christmas so that'll make cookie season and yeah. all that stuff much easier and it creates that sense of calm because i know it's there for when i'm ready yeah. and i'm not looking to have so much in storage that it would go bad mm -hmm. so that's the other key part that a lot of people when they start talking about prepping um kind of overthink they're looking for years of food where i know what you and i are talking about is more like a six month to yeah. a year supply. I don't even want to go towards that year yeah. supply is more towards that six month supply. Because what that does is it allows you to have turnover, yeah. which creates that sense of satisfaction. Like I'm not wasting, I'm utilizing everything I have on hand before I go out and purchase something else. Yeah. So, I mean, when you're talking about satisfaction, what are the ways that you create satisfaction for yourself within being prepared other than food? Um, well, it's also the same for like toilet paper and Kleenex and, mm -hmm. you know, shampoo and things like that. Mm -hmm. I just, I just like to not have to run out, you know, every month or so mm -hmm. and grab it. I like, I like to just be ahead. And, and like, if I buy, you know, I, I buy soap in those two big, containers and there's lots of other things available now that don't even take big containers but um but i you know when i start my second one i'll go out and and buy one or two more so so i i'm just i just hate that oh my god it's gonna storm or oh my gosh the electric went out and i don't have any mm -hmm. plan and i just i'm just prepared for these things um so so it it, it isn't also i can actually be a help to a neighbor you know, is the other thing I can, you know, I, I, you know, there's a couple elderly people that live near me that mm -hmm. I can just check in and say, do you need anything? And I have some things I can share. Yeah. So it, it's also that I think that you're, we're, we're not just um, dependent on uh, uh, for ourselves, but that we're also in a position where we could help a neighbor if we had to in, in, you know, bad storm or whatever. And see, for, for me, preparedness is not just the physicality of it. It's more that skill set of teaching my kids, yeah. um, making sure that, you know, for them, that in a time of crisis, that they know how to help others. Yeah. And for example, when we were at scout camp, my daughter and I were at scout camp, there was a nasty storm that rolled through. And one of the most touching moments for me in that week was seeing my daughter help other people in a time of crisis with only being with little to no direction from me other than she saw that I was getting my work gloves on to help and she was like we're going to help them move trees and get stuff out of the way and she was and I, I said yes and immediately 
she kind of grabbed all of her friends that she was with and started to kind of say, okay, now we don't move things by ourselves. We, because if we do, we're going to get hurt unless it's small, you know, work together as a team. If it's heavy, don't try to pick it up, ask for help and support, stay away from the edges. She was able and strong enough from all the stuff we do at home to see how to step into a leadership role. And for those of you that don't know my daughter, my daughter is a really quiet, relatively reserved individual mm -hmm. yeah. in large groups. She does not take a active role yeah. in groups. To see her stand up and into her strength in that moment mm -hmm. is the kind of preparedness I look to do in my life. And it's when you use that satisfaction term, yeah. that really resonated with me because I'm like, huh. Yeah, you can actually take a breath and say, wow, it's working. It is working. <laughs> and yeah. and for those of you that didn't know, we had a freak storm happen oh, a time. couple weeks ago and it was just complete and utter devastation while my daughter and I were at a uh, summer camp trees were literally uprooting themselves because of how much water came down and how fast the winds were coming yep. and it shredded kids tents twisted cots and literally snapped them in halves like well, twigs and, and the really scary part of it all was no one was expecting it we were expecting high winds and maybe hail yeah or a temperature change which is not unusual in Maryland not, yeah. area and um but but the other thing was it was like 15 minutes and gone yeah and and so it i mean there was no, there really wasn't much you could do, but wait mm -hmm. until it was over and go out and clean up. Yep. We rode the storm out and then we helped clean up. Yep. But the, the aspects of satisfaction with preparedness can also come from routine. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And for me, I know with my younger child, you know, my son, he definitely thrives in routine. Mm -hmm. So he's always my helper when it comes to mom, there's only one more honey container left in yeah. in our pantry. I'm going to go put that check mark that we need to purchase more honey. And then he'll put the number of how many we normally keep on hand. Yeah. So, you know, that sense of satisfaction yeah. is where preparedness can create a sense of calm, yeah. honestly, oh, sanity. Because it's, it's, it's that awareness. Um, of your surroundings mm -hmm. when you know like he he was aware that you're low on something mm -hmm. and and he knows what your routine is mm -hmm. so so it all works together preparedness is sort of an attitude thing mm -hmm. and and when we've done the right routines and we've set up the right plans in motion mm -hmm. and we've done things like we keep saying you know practice with your kids mm -hmm. that type of stuff and so that when these things happen it's it kind of like every everybody knows how to step up and it doesn't mean that that the situation isn't scary or anything mm -hmm. but there's a calm yeah. because we know what to do next you know yep and whether it's you know i need to fill in this shelf with some food things or or whether it's helping a neighbor mm -hmm. or you know everybody getting together to go handle mm -hmm. the, the the tree, tree that's down and stuff <laughs> yeah it, it's um it's just the fact that you know we take a moment and kind of assess what's going on and then take that deep breath and say okay we all know what to do next mm -hmm. and 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 then step up to the plate and and that's really preparedness is really just thinking what would i do if this scenario happened yep. and then planning accordingly yep. you know and it, it's um it, it doesn't it just takes it's like we were saying when we do things with our kids, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that we aren't afraid in a particular scenario, but what we've removed is that sense of inaction, mm -hmm. you know? So there's, when you're, when you've prepared your pantry and the items you're gonna need or the medicines, you're not, you're not just living day to day with the things that you use on a regular basis, then, then when you have that moment of, oh my God, you know, um, you also immediately will go into that routine of, oh, and then, and then check what you have and yep. plan, you know, how I'm going to handle the next few days of whatever. Um, and playing that with our kids, like for a weekend or something mm -hmm. is the kind of thing that helps them do the same thing. They, they, 
you know, we're all going to have that moment of, oh my gosh, what, what, what next? What's next? But then they'll know what next. Yep. Because you've been working on that. And, and Lena showed that when yep. you went to camp. Yeah. My daughter definitely proved that. And she was telling people to like, to watch out for the various, you know, trees, limbs that were still hanging. She was her, 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 she was her mom in action. <laughs> it was, it was, it was kind of cute to watch and kind of cool, but also equally, you know, that's fine. Satisfying that's and awe-inspiring. Exactly. So don't think that your kids aren't paying attention. They, they, they'll floor you one, especially yeah. when you're not expecting it. Um, but yes, one of the things that we want to stress with you is deep satisfaction comes from being prepared. And that's why you just start slow baby steps, get yourself situated, find those few key things that you can start with and move forward from there. Yep. All yep. right. So until next time, be prepared. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs>